Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys my fun digitals that I have made up, and they're in my Etsy shop right now. I'll put the link down below so you guys come check them out. So what I have here is really fun hand embroidery, coffee dyed, eco print fabrics that I have digitally printed out for you guys. So I went ahead, I've done, this is all my handwork that I've done and you can see the stitching and stuff through it. Okay, so this is the photo paper and it's matte photo paper and I will put the uh, Amazon link down below for you guys to come check it out. I got it off Amazon and it does a really good job. So it's 8.5 by 11 inch and you get 50 sheets. 45 pound, 170 GSM. Okay. And so this is the, and the kit has five. I think this one has five in it. So let's see, we got this one, which is the one I showed you guys. And then this is more of my eco, eco printing I did with you guys. And I will put this video of how I showed you guys how I eco printed on um, fabric. I will put that at the end, on the end screen, at the end of this video. You guys come check it out. So that's fun. So it's that one you get in the kit. This one, with a little neon green paint on it. I thought that turned out really fun. Okay. I know, it's, it's just so cool how it just looks like real fabric. You can see all the strings and stuff in it. So that's the other one. And then this is the last one here. So these all come in the same, um, when you download them and uh, get the JPEG, it'll, these will print off for you. So you got one, two, three, four, five in the kit. Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys just a couple fun things you can do with it here. So I thought this would be fun to do as a little booklet. I think it's a great little cover. And um, you just take it and we'll fold it. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and start, show you guys a couple things you can do here. I wanna start with this one. I thought it would be fun to make a little, just a little booklet out of this. So I'm just gonna take it and fold it in half. Folder. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting all, all your craft supplies and seeing what you could do here. So I'm just taking it and folding it. And yeah, it just makes a fun little booklet like that. That's just super fun. And then you could take just whatever paper you want to put in it. This is just some uh, tea dyed paper here. And what's great is it just fits right in there. Since it's the same size as a photo copy paper. So you could just take a bunch of those and we can stick them in here. Okay, so I went ahead and added some papers in it, and then I just took it to my sewing machine and sewed right down the middle. So that's a fun way to make a little booklet out of it. And this photo paper is uh, has a good stock to it, like a good thickness, so it's nice for like covers and stuff. Um, and then you can just take some seam binding, just for a fun little closure. That. And there you go. So that's definitely something you could do with it. And the next thing I was thinking is I think it'd be fun to use these as master boards. So I think that's kind of a cool little thing. Or, you know, like, because just have it like it's a master board and then just take it like you would a master board and get your cutter. 
turn this upside down so you just don't see what's happening here. And let's do some cutting. Just different sizes that you want. You can do some uh, tags, some journaling cards. here. So that's pretty fun like that. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see. I think I like the little, the one with the green on it. So you can see it's kind of fun. You just get different things you could do. So I'm going to take my crocodile first. Let's go ahead and make this into a tag. Flip it and snip it. So just turn it like that. Do a little snip. There we go. A little hole. And let's see. I know I have green. Let me. There we go. I'll tie it kind of together like that. it. There we go. And you can go around and ink it. Let's do... Oh, it's right beside me. My vintage photo. So they make great little tags, little journaling cards, little belly bands. Uh, anything like that and depending on what you print it out on um, the thickness of the paper or whatever you, you use is different ways that you can use it so we got that I got some linen here option. There we go. Okay. So I think that's fun. And one more thing I was thinking of is how fun would that be to cut these Got these cut, and then this is the rest of it. Let's just cut it up. And then do some Frankenstein paper with it. So you could take it and sew it here, line it up how you want it. Maybe do a little sewing there, a little bit of there, and I don't know, just kind of piece it together and do a little bit of sewing. I'm going to take that to my sewing machine and I will be back and see what we come up with. All right, so I went over to my sewing machine and did some sewing and pieced it back together, which I think that looks really fun, especially with the digital looking like fabric, you know, and it's kind of cool. So it's just got a neat effect to it. And that's the back of it. So you can do whatever you, you can even ink it first, then sew them together, and then ink all around the edges, and then make it more squared off. And then you can use this as maybe a journal cover. You can bend it and do stuff. You can cut it back up and make more, you know, journaling cards with it and um, some tags or anything like that. So there's so many different options you can do. And yeah, so I hope you guys come and at least check out my Etsy shop and favor uh, my items. It helps me out a lot. Just hit, hit the you know heart button, and that really does help me out and helps support my Etsy shop. 
And if you guys could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.